Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're gonna be slaying this lace wig from start to finish. Now what's cool about this is it's a seven by seven closure lace wig. Yes, this is not a frontal and as you guys can see, I made it look like one. This wig comes courtesy of Dola. You guys know I've worked with this company before. They sent over a wig rip as well. This is the inside construction of the cap. As I said before, it's seven by seven. So it is a closure opposed to a frontal. I mean you'll see the difference in just a moment and they even included your elastic so you'll be good to go as far as the wig being glueless now this is the natural texture of the wig I am absolutely in love it is absolutely beautiful now if I'm not mistaken this one is 180% density but it definitely feels like 200 or 250 it's lightweight but it's full you know those kind of wigs where you can actually put curls in it and it's like full and voluminous and not like dead and thin this one is definitely super full and I'm absolutely pleased with it so to begin our customization I'm gonna go ahead and work on the hairline we're gonna pluck and tweeze but first I'll show you guys exactly what they've provided Now you guys can clearly see with your own two eyes that this one is definitely pre-plucked. I love the way it looks. Um, I also want to mention how nice and healthy and dark and nicely sheened, if that's a phrase, um, this wig is. But you guys know, even if a wig is pre-plucked, even as good as this, sometimes it doesn't look it once it's styled. So I'm going to take my new favorite pair of tweezers. Of course, I'll have it linked down below. And yes, I did melt <laughs> my clip with the hot comb and it was so hard to get it out with the, the hot comb being hot so I went ahead and just used it and I was able to pull out all of that melted plastic out of the hair and it was just fine but I do like to go ahead and hot comb the hair before I tweeze I personally feel like it's similar if not equivalent to when you spray the hairline down with a water bottle to go ahead and pretty much smooth out the hairline. It kind of makes the nods in each strand of hair a little bit more prominent and visible so that as you go in and tweeze you can like grab each hair individually and it's not clump together hopefully that makes sense but I'm just taking a pair of tweezers and I'm taking my time to go in and pluck out as much as I can I'm gonna speed it up for you guys just a little bit so it's not too mundane um, the thing about plucking a hairline is that you definitely have to have a little bit of patience or a lot because as you pluck along you kind of feel like there's no instant gratification like if you're plucking properly you're not seeing chunks of hair come out at once kind of like you got to keep going keep going keep going and gradiently or gradually rather you'll start seeing the hair thin out if that makes any sense so I'm gonna go in and do a little bit more and I like to speed it up slow it down speed it up slow it down so you guys can grasp the concept of what I'm doing without just sitting here forever over time you'll see it thin out but again if you have the right pair of tweezers and the right pair of tweezers are usually nice and sharp and fresh um, it will thin out gradually it's not gonna just be like clumps and clumps and clumps and clumps you'll see it like you know get thinner and thinner and thinner but you don't want to see any ball spots and I think that's the key to it and I'm going to pull back the baby here and you guys can see it's definitely a lot thinner but we definitely have some more work to do so I like to go in first behind the hairline and tweeze um, once I feel comfortable with what that looks like I go in the very front and kind of thin that out also and of course um, you know I like the way it came out but what I will say is that I would have went in even more if I would have had the wig on a mannequin head but I just don't like tweezing on my scalp I feel like whenever the wig is on my head and I'm tweezing it kind of hurts a little bit so you know I kind of gave up and was like okay this is kind of painful not painful like you're being tortured but just you're literally picking you know at your hairline with tweezers and you can kind of feel it especially when you've been doing it for a while so that's why I kind of just was you know pleased satisfied with what I had and I kind of just moved on to the next step Once you're happy with what your lace looks like, 
it is time to cut off the excess lace so here you see I am using an eyebrow razor and that little piece at the end is like a nice chunky thick, thicker piece this is what holds the lace together on closures and I believe it's called a ribbon or that's at least what I've heard stylists call it um, in my day that is kind of going to be the eye sword that kind of makes it a little bit annoying to use a closure I like closures because they fit a little bit better glueless personally um, but that little piece right there like what happens after the lace ends kind of is literally a finesse so back in the day when I only wore closures before I had ever tried a frontal um, that little ribbon piece I would take like an eyeliner or something black and I would just color it black because if the wind blows if your hair moves you don't want to see that I would also cut it um, with like scissors as far back as I could so it's not like hanging out or pinking out to begin with and yeah I just would consider or camouflage it today you're gonna see how I camouflage it to make the entire hairline look like a frontal and you guys can see how that sticks there it is pretty annoying just visually this is what the lace looks like I believe this is medium brown lace and it looks really good on my hairline I am gonna still go in in just a minute and use a um, what do you call it a lace tint yeah a lace tint to go ahead and just make everything look amazing without having to use a powder or a foundation I wanted the hairline to pop a little bit but as you guys can see I'm cutting off as much of that ribbon as I possibly can and you guys can still see my sideburns because again this is not a 13 by 6 which is typically what you guys see me use when I have a front so this is a closure. So currently we are just going ahead and pressing out the lace. Now again this is a 757 and I really want all 7x7 seven seven inches of this lace closure to be nice and flat and smooth. So this is kind of like one of those steps where I literally will take my time and I just go around and around and around so everything is as flat and as smooth as possible. This is a textured um, lace wig. I believe it's body wave but I still want the crown of my head to lay flat so that it is a little bit more seamless and not so big and bulky and wiggy. I'm taking my wax and I'm just going to go ahead and further slay this wig by, you know, the wax will help to lay everything down. It cancels out flyaways. It makes everything look smooth, silky, shiny, and sleek without doing too much. So I just apply that. I brush it in and then I go in with a little bit of heat and that makes everything amazing. I'm also going to remove the wig and add that, um, lace tint as I said before now this I'm just finesse and I just pretty much added to that parting in the hairline I don't need to go in and add extra I do find that this lace tint does um, run out quickly if that makes any sense so I only use it exactly where I need it on the hairline and whatever the parting is now we're going in with our OG faithful old faithful and this is the got to be glued gel um this is what i use pretty much the first time i or in the beginning when i really started to install my wigs this is pretty much all i used and i loved it and i still love it i just haven't used it in so so long um i don't even know <laughs> if blow drying it is a thing I know I use the blow dryer for the spray, but it's been so long since I've used this, I just out of habit grab the blow dryer. I can't even tell you if it worked or not as far as drying it down, but of course if you do use a blow dryer, do it on a cool setting. I'm going to stay in my lane and use this also as my edge control. I was opting for a glueless install with no baby hair, but you guys know me, I love baby hair and I love to bond my wigs down. So that is why I ended up using that gel. I kind of felt like Old Faithful with a closure wig, so Old Faithful with my application.
now here's where we're gonna finesse as best we can we're gonna go over that area where it kind of is like the closure ends we want to cover up that ribbon and we also want to cover up my natural sideburns and any cap that may be seen and we're gonna just swoop like nothing is there and literally just do our best to cover everything now in this step I'm not gonna trim anything I don't want to trim it to be perfect I just literally want it to cover as much as it can without looking too globby or cakey or you know crazy and just tuck it behind my ears we're gonna allow everything to melt underneath my old faithful scarf I absolutely love this scarf I don't even know the texture of it or where I got it but I need like two or three more <laughs> now while that goes ahead and melt I'm gonna go ahead and work on the excess hair or the length of the hair you guys can see how much sheen and body this one had naturally um, before even touching it and I love how dark it's almost like a I think it is black um, usually your lace or your um, hair on your lace is like a nice natural brown and it kind of is shabby this is like a nice black a light black that is like gonna pop and give you that sheen um, I will also say that this is equivalent to a lot of the times when you get a wig you kind of want it to be nice thick and full I feel like this one is exactly goes what you want in a wig I know with a lot of stylists they'll go in and they'll buy your lace wig and they'll also buy an extra bundle in the same texture and length and they'll go in and add a bundle to make it feel more full this is one of the few wigs where I feel like you don't need to do that now I was debating if I wanted to use a mousse or a conditioner and I opted for a conditioner and I ended up adding a little bit of the mousse as well this is just a styling product to go ahead and make sure that the wig never gets frizzy kind of make the waves pop you know and just make everything look super good And this is the final result. I love the way it is flat and smooth and flawless. As I said before, I was opting for no baby hair at first and I went ahead and swooped a little bit. What I would do is go back in and trim down what I did opt for baby hair and just kind of comb it out so that it has that nice swoop effect but it's a lot more soft. I don't necessarily love the baby hair that like sticks or melts to your skin anymore. I like it to kind of be fluffy in a way and you do that just by using your tail comb to kind of just comb it out a little bit i'm also going to go in with my hot comb one last time i use the heck out of this hot comb whenever i'm installing and you guys can see how just flat everything looks and melted um also off camera i did go in and add a little bit of powder after this clip i just wanted it to look a little bit more hmm maybe just pop a little bit more and whenever i switch into the um the fuchsia or magenta um, sweater you'll see the difference in the lace I love the way that everything lays flat it looks very seamless this doesn't look like a closure it actually looks like a frontal in my opinion also with the curls everything is nice and full and beautiful I did not co-wash this one um, and you guys can see how beautiful the curls are absolutely gorgeous so i hope you guys enjoyed this install thank you guys so much for watching also thank you to dola for sending this wig over i have all the details listed in the description box for you guys to check out also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications for new videos new vlog will be up this wednesday so stay tuned for that and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches